Hello, my name is Melvin Black, and in this introduction of PowerView, I'm going to show you how to add images to your PowerView dashboards. Using images is one of the most powerful ways of, of displaying data inside PowerView, and I'm going to show you some examples of how to effectively use images. Okay, we begin in the PowerView environment. So to start, I'm going to first select a measure. In this example, I'm going to select sales. Now that I have sales here displaying, now I'm going to add a category. Generally what we do, we select the category in text form, as you can see here. But in this example, we're going to use images. So I'm going to remove the category text name, and I'm going to select the category image. And that way, I'll see the image representation of these sales values. And I'm going to switch the position here because I want the image before the measure. Now that is a simple way of displaying images and values together. One of the more effective ways that you'll commonly see in PowerView is the use of a card and to do that I'll select tables card and it will change this particular view to a card like view where you see an image and individual cards now I'm going to display what I find is the most impressive usage of images in PowerView and that's by using images as a filter to do that I simply just select that same table here and I'll select tile and that way it changes as the perspective of this table so that I see these images that are functioning as filters and when I select an image it changes the values here and I'm going to size it here and I'm going to add more information to this column that quantity Let's add item price. And as you can see, it added them here automatically. And if I want this to represent sales, I can just, or currency, I can select the number column here. And again, I can change the value simply by selecting the image. Now, if you want even more information, we can just simply add another category here. Let's say dining type and we can add it to the fields and now I can see which dining type represents the individual type of sale dinner breakfast as we can see we have a different values based off the filter I selected now another great feature about using images now let me take off that dine type and I'm going to size it here and as you notice there's this entire area and that whole area is actually impacted by these filters so if I add in another view here and let's just say I just select this area and I want to add sales again and I see that we have sales and I'm going to size this move it down size it again and I want to change this area into a column chart. Okay. And now I'm going to add a dimension to that column chart. Let's just look at it by day of the week. And now I see the day of the week and I still maintain the functionality of these image filters. So if I select drink, it changes the day of the week as well as our original set of data here. That's essentially one of the most impactful ways of using images inside PowerView. And this concludes my PowerView introduction.